Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP using JWT. This is our part 14. Inside this video session guys, we will see about user registration API method. In the last video, successfully we have created our table to save our user's data. Also, we had declared about the class file. Back to code editor. Now this is the class file where we had defined about the properties and all about constructor function. Now inside this class, we are going to add one more method to create our user via API. So let's say that public function, let's say create user. Now inside this, we are going to write our user query. So user query, let's say insert, it should be insert into and the table name we have to pass and the table name to save the user's data is all about this user's table so copy that and here we have to paste call insert into table name and we are going to use called the set and the columns we have inside table if you back to chrome browser and inside this tb underscore users go to structure now we have columns called name email and the password so if we back to code editor, now let's say that inside this we have called name and we are going to use called the placeholder because we are going to use and make prepare statements to name. Next we have called email and finally we have the next column called password. So if I copy the password field, back to editor, pasting it here and it should also be a placeholder. Now finally we have to prepare that. So let's say this connection variable prepare and inside this prepare method we have to pass this user's query variable. So pasting it here. All about the discussion of this this connection prepare we have used several times inside this playlist inside our previous videos. After preparing a statement now we are going to store inside let's say user underscore obj. This is the object that we have prepared by making this connection. Now finally, I am, to go, I am going to bind the parameters with these placeholders. So let's say user obj and we have the method called bind underscore param and inside this as we know that name, email and the password all these three fields are string values. So we are going to use three time as first as is for the name email and the password now finally we have to attach the dynamic parameters we will slice via our api call so if we back to top to see our parameters so it should be name email and the password so scroll down so let's say that this name and the second is for this email and the third is for this password and finally we have to execute that so let's say if user obj and we are going to call our execute method to call our execution now if it's successfully executed we have to return the true value to our view file else we are going to return the false value so successfully we have created our create user method inside this users class now back to v1 folder so right now there is no file inside this v1 folder we are going to call our first file that is create user let's say api dot php now inside this php file firstly we need to include the headers about headers we had seen several times when we are learning about simple development of apis using php now let's say header inside this let's say access control it should be allow origin and we are going to allow from all the origins if I copy and paste it should let's say access control allow methods and we are going to use this time post method for this API and the third header I'm going to include called header let's say content type it should be application and JSON. Another way, let's say UTF. 
it should be something car set equal to utf-8 now successfully we have included our headers next we have to go and in slice about the database as well as users instance so let's say here including files so firstly let's say db equal to or before that we need to include our files so let's say include ones so here we have misspelled so include ones and inside this currently we are inside this v1 folder so we have to go one folder back so this is and after we have to go inside config folder and inside this we have the file called database.php now successfully we have included that if I copy and paste one more time for users.php so this time we have to go inside let's say classes classes folder and inside this we have file called users.php now next we have to make the objects so let's say objects and here let's say firstly I'm going to create about the DB equal to new and inside this database.php if we open that this is the class name so copy that and pasting it here all we have done now if we call about the connect method of this database then we can successfully connect with our database so in the next we are going to create object for our users so let's say users underscore let's say obj equal to new and inside this users.php we have the class name as users so copy and pasting it here now if we want to connect with the database as we know that inside this users class inside the constructor we have passed our database variable so while initializing our database object sorry users object we have to pass our database instance inside this constructor so successfully we have initialized about the objects of database and the users now in the next we are going to check that this file only accessible for the post request type so let's say global variable server inside this request method and it should be something post request type after getting post request or inside this else block let's say http response code and something let's say 503 let's say echo something json in code let's say array and let's say status equal to 0 and message equal to let's say that access denied so now this is all about our else block if we go inside this if block it means that successfully we have requested via post request type now we are going to collect our data via body so data let's say json decode inside this we are going to use call file cat contents and inside this we are going to read from the body so php and input so after collecting data from the body let's say if we are going to check that data has a name parameter so if I copy and let's say not empty let's say not empty also we are going to check same so if I copy the syntax pasting it here this is for the name email and let's say for the password so here we need to include about logical and operator and get rid of the last what we have included so this is for the email and the final one for the password so finally inside this if block let's make our else block now inside this else block it means that we have no data so copy this response parameters pasting it here and let's say that it should be something 500 and let's say server or let's say all data needed so go inside if block it means we have data now we are going to execute that so before executing we have to firstly initialize all the parameters what we have defined right here so let's say that user obj 
by the help of this name parameter we have to take and slice the value from this data variable copy and paste three times the second one is for the email and the third one is for the password so let's say password and here let's say password so after in slicing name email password now finally we are going to call our method called create underscore user so copy this method name go to this file and let's say user obj and this is the method and now inside this method actually we are creating our user so if i copy this response pasting it here and let's say that it should be 200 status should be 1 and let's say user has been created now inside else block if we paste about the response and let's say this time we have let's say 403 or let's say 500 and here let's say field to save user now if we save all these changes because we have done all the necessary things to make this API back to our postman and if I copy this URL open a new tab pasting it here and as we know that we have to change about again back to folder structure copy the name of the project something api-zwt and we have to replace inside v1 folder we have the file so inside v1 we have file if i copy the file name create user api and pasting it here now if we hit about this api via get request type click on send button now as we can see that 503 service unavailable and access denied but if we change from get to post again hit send button now all data needed so inside this body section firstly go inside headers let's say content type so content type it should be application json inside this body go inside raw and we have to pass about three parameters called name so let's say that the first user i'm going to create sanjay and let's say email about the me value so sanjay at gmail.com and the password we are going to use let's say password and let's say about the value one to eight now if we click on send button now here we have some internal server error so go to code editor so i'm going to enable about the debugger mode so let's say ini set let's say display errors equal to one now if we save all these changes back to postman click on send button now we have some error and the error is that call to undefined method that is database and the prepare back to our code editor and the prepare method we have called inside this users class and right here we have used so this method is basically insliced from this connection and the connection we have passed right here after making the object and go to database and I think that we did a mistake mistake is that actually we have successfully initialized about the database object but remember this db does not refers about the connection of database we have to call the connect method for that so copy this method and this is the method so we have to pass this connection variable inside this users construct function so save all these changes back to postman click on send button and as we can see that user has been created if we change about the output mode to pretty and this is something user has been created so back to chrome reload the space browse and inside this table as we can see that we have one row insertion of user now inside this table as we can see that we have saved password as a plain text now we want to save about the hashed password for the user's information so go to structure firstly we need to change about the length of this password field to make this hashed password as change it to let's say 100 characters of length so save all these changes 
go to browse and we have a simple data now back to code editor now we are going to convert our password to a hashed password so back to users table or back to this view file cut this and we are going to use called the password and the hash function this is all about the php function which basically converts a string into a hashed value based on the given algorithm so the first value we have to pass as the string value so this is the string value and we are going to use called the password default algorithm to convert it as a hash password so let's say password underscore let's say default so if we save all these changes back to postman now again if i hit about the same button now user has been created back to a table click on browse ignore all now as we can see that successfully we have a data but this time this password is now hashed password click on edit button now this is a hash password what basically converted from 1 to 8 so successfully guys inside this video we had created about the api to create users from our rest api call so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day